one of the great things about a partnership where some of our researchers are actually embedded in the health service, like with Epworth, is they can work um, across the executive, across the clinical staff and with the patients and community to identify projects that are really important. It is so important, that partnership, to to enable us to do the research that we do. So the research is cutting edge, it's evidence-based, and it's making a difference to patients and their outcomes. As a CEO in a, in a health organisation, in what's been a challenging environment in the last few years, all of us have had to wrestle with the values that sit behind the investments that we make, but also the financial, the economic and the health dividends. And so our partnership with Deakin, I think, has been really helpful in helping us to navigate through that experience. The good thing about IHT is that they've been really accommodating and really understanding that it is a co-design process and it's not just bringing an idea or expertise and landing it on a place that's working together, particularly with their emphasis on trying to build the capability within the services. For us, one of the real strengths has been that we've built integrity, strength and believability in terms of our evidence base, but also in terms of our broader strategic thinking. So for me, that'd be one of the key reasons why I'd be looking to partner with IHT and brilliant researchers that they've actually got. What is truly remarkable about the Deakin University uh, researchers is that they're fully aware that the ultimate impact of the work is not just limited to the quality of scientific publications, but that through their work, Globe very much uh, wants to make a difference. Having co-funded positions means that both organizations have responsibility and accountability. It's about having a skin in the game. The partnership with um, Deakin University is, is absolutely critical. Setting up the ACBRD as the first international centre to focus on the behavioural change aspects into diabetes and for it to play a role and have the commitment of the two organisations to back it to fund it, to support it, you know, is a is a big part of what we wanted to do and, and how we've and how we've been able to achieve that. And there's something really special about that partnership which you can feel is elevating uh, both organisations and helping to advance their work in a really productive way.